What Travis incredible, say? really, isn't it? Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> really entertaining football yesterday. <clears throat> and um, for me, it's a team, it kind of epitomises the West Ham way. They're not going to keep clean sheets week in, week out, but they're going to be free-flowing. They're going to create chances. They've got a lot of energy about them. There's a great team spirit. There's technical players in there. And they look like they're having fun. And I Trev, think that is the West Ham way. The fans are absolutely uh, loving it. They look as though they've got a proper... I said to Jim, I used the word gang, but I used it in a, you know, a complimentary yeah. way. They've, they've got a gang. It's yeah, like, yeah. And they're all in it. Mean, you spoke about Dawson and Noble. They're all in it together. Trev, yeah. I think, honest to God, we were speaking earlier, mate, I think if they can, you know, avoid... Uh, listen, there's a long way to go, but if they can avoid key injuries to key players, I mean, why not? Why not get in the top four? 100%. And, you know, I... You look at the games that they've had and you look, I mean, obviously the Brentford loss this, this month, early in, early on in this month yep. was disappointing, but the reaction from there, and I think you look at the way that David Moyes has introduced this rotation system, you know, you play Zuma and Ogbonna in the Premier League games and then all of a sudden in the cup games you're playing Diop and Dawson. I think when you're only changing three or four, I mean, they changed eight against Manchester City. I think that shows you the depth that they've got in their squad. Um, Ariola did well. Sue Fal can't get in. Yeah. Ben Johnson, who's come yep. through the academy, Tremendous. is. I mean, I thought he was man of the match yesterday. He scored mm-hmm. his first Premier League goal this season. Um, he pocketed someone who I believe is going to be a big star in the Premier League in Leon Bailey. He's not 100 percent fit yet, but he mm-hmm. pocketed him. Mm-hmm. Um, just the performances throughout the throughout the team. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Trev, did you think it was a red? <laughs> I'm not sure the red was a red, but the challenge slightly seconds before that was ridiculous. I mean, that is as red as you can get. He's, he's, he's literally tried to j- break his jaw. There, I've looked at that and said, oh no, we don't think he's endangered the player. I mean, that is uh, that shows to me that they, they are clueless. The people that were looking at that incident haven't got a clue about what intent is, what endangering a player is, uh, and to let that one ride and then give a red. Listen, I think the red, it could have been. I think yeah. you can say either way that could have been a red. He's so close to the edge of the box. I think one touch inside and and he's getting the shot off there for me. So that could be a red. But the the, the challenge before by by Hose, I, I thought that was ridiculous. Talk sport breakfast with Laura Woods Monday to Wednesday morning six till ten on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk sport.